Hey, 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 everybody. This is Mike G with Chrome Vending. And the last video I uploaded, I was trying to complete my video and I kept getting interrupted by my phone storage being full. Don't really know what was going on there. Hopefully, this one will let me finish. Um, what I was saying in the last one was I had spoke with a lady about being able to place my vending machine in her establishment and on the same day I had two other calls come through that okayed me to go through so I got a couple of my machines ready here here are the three I'm getting ready to go place them and um, I ended up getting off work today so it gives me opportunity to go and place these machines which is good I'm happy about that able to get it out of the way and continue working on getting some other machines ready I, um, I got these three spray painted up also the same colors blue and black uh, I'm ready to start trying some different colors but uh, I went over to Walmart and I ended up getting a whole lot of spray paint here a lot of bottles and it's funny because when I was walking through there I saw somebody that I know and he was laughing he says what are you about to start graffiti in again I said, man, what are you talking about? I don't graffiti. This is for my machines, my business. Well, it's funny the things people say sometimes. I don't pay them no attention. Uh, here are some of my blue ones over here. As a matter of fact, there's my book, Start Late, Finish Rich by David Bach. It's also a very good book, very good financial literature. If you're trying to get ahead in this world and you want to learn more get more ideas about investing in different things like businesses passive income supplementary income whatever you know it's just another eye opener of things that you can do and maybe get you motivated to go out and start your own little side thing after you get off work a few things i was thinking of you know like let's say it's 168 hours in a week if you work a 40 hour work week that leaves 128 hours left and let's just say that you get paid I don't know we'll say $20 an hour which is it's a good it's a good hourly rate rate and if you make $20 an hour 40 hours out the week you have 128 hours left that you have to account for so if you stretch that $20 an hour for 40 hours into 168 hours it comes out to 21 cents an hour so for your whole week you're averaging 21 cents an hour and that's a good salary that's gross too so after Uncle Sam gets his cut your net is somewhere dropped down to about 20 to 19 cents an hour so if you're comfortable living on that you know then that's fine with you um, but you know I don't think that that's sufficient so I'm always looking for ways to make more income you know therefore this is one of the things that I came up with the vending machines and I want to continue to try to raise what I make per hour based on my 168 hour week rather than my 40 hour work week and you know for those of you who who don't make twenty dollars an hour you gotta think it's even less than that so uh, you know what can you do to increase the amount of money you're making in a week and the the steady flows of income that you have that you know you don't have to work for or you probably I, I can't say that because you're gonna have to work even if it's passive income that doesn't exist you know you still have to to do something you have to work once you get it going then it becomes passive income I actually just finished writing a book for my my exercise page and I'm hoping to have it out January 1st that's the date that I'm pushing for you know but for me it's just another form of supplementary income and at the same time I can help people another question I get you know that I get from people sometimes is you know hey Mike man you know you you're a trainer you know you're always trying to get people fit get them into shape you know how can you justify having vending machines you know you're, you're selling candy isn't that like counterproductive and you know the way I think about it is absolutely not it's you know even people who are in shape and eat healthy they're still you know they're they're allowed to eat things that they enjoy also at the same time and what I like about the candy machines is that 
instead of going to buy the whole bag of M&Ms or the whole bag of Skittles or whatever the candy is, you know, and eat the whole thing at one sitting, you know, you come over here, you can pay 25 cents, you get a handful, you settle your craving, and, you know, it's not as quite as bad for you. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm for it 100%. And um, I just wanted to share that with you all today that, you know, don't think that just because you eat a little bit of something bad that, you know, it's bad for you. No, absolutely not. Actually, sometimes your body needs sugar. But, you know, I don't want to get too far off the subject. And I'm getting ready to go and place these right now. I'm going to continue with the video and I'll share that with you all later. If you like the material I have here, hit the like button and subscribe and then hit the little bell that pops up and you can get notifications every time I post a new video. Have a great day.